Well, the man accused of carjacking and killing a beloved 80-year-old woman and her dog has been charged in court. 48-year-old Jamed Haynes, seen here, is facing murder, assault, and animal cruelty charges for the death of Ruth Dalton and her dog. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 13 News at 5. I'm Matthew Smith. And I'm Hannah Kim. As Fox 13 reported yesterday, Haynes refused to appear in court. Today's hearing canceled after prosecutors rushed file the case, so Fox 13's Alejandra Guzman has new details of this horrific crime. Hannah Matthew, these new charging documents speak to the sheer brutality of Haynes' actions that morning, how he killed not only Ruth, but how he also disposed of her dog. Documents say he shoved the 80-year-old out of the SUV. He put her in a vulnerable and dangerous position until he gained control of her SUV. Now, Haynes was expected in court today, as you guys mentioned, but given the accusations, prosecutors say they had enough to charge him. Haynes is now being held with no bail after the King County Prosecutor's Office described his behavior, which they presented in court. Take a listen. This is very concerning and serious behavior that we believe these allegations are a danger to the public. That any time that we ask for somebody to be held without bail, that's as 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 high as it or as as extreme as it can go in Washington State. And we've got to show the court why we think that there is that serious danger to the public. And we effectively did that today. Now, Fox 13 has reported on his extensive and violent behavior, speaking about Haynes, which prosecutors say spans over the course of the last 30 years and conclusively shows that he is a danger to the community. Today, I obtained documents from his deadly hit and run conviction in 1993, where the victim was ejected from his car. Here's a timeline of what's transpired. Around 10 a.m. Tuesday, police were called to the Madison Valley neighborhood where several neighbors reported Ruth Dalton, a respected dog walker, was being carjacked. Yeah, what happened? Neighbors rushed to help the 80-year-old woman who, according to police, was hit and dragged with her own car. When things happen like that, you put yourself in a perspective that you can't help but be personally involved. 20 minutes later, Ruth's blue Subaru Forester was found abandoned near Brighton Playfield. Investigators also found her dog Prince stabbed to death. Mere hours after Ruth was killed, an outpouring of love and support as neighbors, friends, and dog walkers all came to pay their respects. This is just gorgeous and wonderful in her honor. If there's any comfort in this situation is that she was doing what she loved and what she wanted to be doing up until the very end. On Wednesday, just a day after Ruth's violent murder, police made an arrest. Because it's in custody of her control. The alleged killer, 48-year-old Jamed Haynes, an eight-time convicted felon with a history of mental health concerns, was taken into custody by a SWAT team in his home in Capitol Hill. It's logged that he is a violent, violent person. Newly obtained court documents detail his latest and most heinous conviction in 1993. Haynes was only 17 when he hit and killed a man after hitting two parked cars while drinking and driving in the Capitol Hill area. Documents say he hit the man so hard the victim flew a hundred feet. As he died, Haynes ran off, jumping into a cab, asking to be taken to the Youth Services Detention Center, where police later arrested him. His blood alcohol was 0.12. He was charged with vehicular homicide, but he pleaded guilty in exchange for a reduced sentence. Haynes only served 17 months in jail. Now, Haynes is expected in court next month where he'll enter a plea. In the meantime, Peruk's granddaughter is planning a walk in her honor. Fox 13 will, of course, keep you posted on those details. For now, in the newsroom, I'm Alejandro Guzman. Back to you.